Hi my little plums, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Plumby, and today I'm going to be bringing you all part one of the Sims 4 Sugar Heart Legacy. So this is going to be my brand new Let's Play. Now, although this is called the Sugar Heart Legacy, this is actually the I'm a Lover Challenge. I'll be leaving a link in the description box down below to all the information about this lovely, lovely challenge. So if you want to go ahead and try out this challenge for yourself, you can. This is a really, really fun challenge and I tried it in February, but I wasn't really feeling the founder. So I thought that I would redo it now. And that is what we're going to be doing inside of this Let's Play. Right now you are looking at Miss Lilac Sugarheart so she is my founder for this new legacy slash challenge. If you would like I have a creator sim posted on my channel of me of course creating her including the full CC list so if you do want to go ahead and watch me create Lilac or get any of her custom content you can I do recommend you go ahead and you watch that creator sim now to get a little bit more information on her but you do not have to since we'll be hopping in to you know who she is and all her personality and her traits in this video obviously but if you'd like a little bit more information I would you know recommend checking out the creators and for her I'll have it linked in the corner of the screen in a card so before we get more into who Lilac is and what her life is about let's quickly actually read about what we kind of do in the first generation of the I'm a lover challenge just so we know kind of what we're going to be doing and this will also give you more insight on who Lilac is so so for generation one, it basically says all I wanted was to be a romance writer and find my own true love. So it's basically your typical kind of wholesome generation one. So as you can see here, you have to have the romantic trait and the soulmate aspiration. You have to join the writer career, write mo romance novels, date one person throughout the young adult stage, marry as an adult, have two kids as an adult, have a date night every week, at least one date, and stay with spouse until death do as part so it's a very wholesome one so that is basically generation one it is very very simple and i just love the sound of it and basically a writer who wants to find their own true love so now i thought we could hop in to her backstory just so you guys can get to know kind of you know where she comes from and this will definitely play a huge part you know in her life Lilac is originally from Mount Kamarebi, but she was adopted when she was six months old by a lovely couple in Henford on Bagley. Unfortunately, when Lilac was eight years of age, her mother passed away. This left her and her father completely distraught and heartbroken. Steve, her father, struggled to keep their bakery running so he wasn't home as often as he used to be. She spent most of her time writing fairy tales and love stories where the ending was always happy. This is when she found her love for writing stories. Now, she's just finished her writing degree at the University of Brightchester and she's moved back to Hanford on Bagley. Although the loss of her mother hurts Lilac and her father, their lives are still happy. Lilac hopes that she'll have a happy ending just like in the storybooks that she writes. So that is a little insight in it to Lilac, you know, her backstory, where she comes from, and I think this definitely will play, as I said, a huge part in her life because we'll be totally, you know, exploring more of that. And that actually brings me on to where Lilac is actually from. So currently, Lilac is living in Hemford on Bagley, and she is from Hemford on Bagley. Although, as it stated in her backstory, she's originally from Mount Kamarebi. She was adopted when she was six months old. So Hemford on Bagley is really all she's ever known and she 100% calls it her home. She lives in the town centre of Hemford on Bagley, Finchwick, I think that's what it's called. She lives here, so right next to, you know, the market and also the really nice kind of park. So she just lives over here in this really, really cute cottage that I got off of the gallery. I unfortunately do not remember who the creator is. I'm really, really sorry. I need to start writing those down because I always get people asking me, you know, who created this house? Unfortunately, I don't remember the creator of this home but it is a very very cutesy cottage and of course I made some tweaks to it just so it fit her but 95% of this house was of course built by somebody else. I won't give you guys a full-on tour because that would take way too long but this is just a quick overview. So this is her garden. She does enjoy gardening but to an extent so I only have a couple of pots thrown around. I don't think she's as enthusiastic about it as other people in Hanford on Bagley. This is kind of like you know the inside of her house. It's very very small but it's, it's also quite spacious as well so as we can tell we've got like you know the kitchen here we've got the living room here which is really really nice got some cat bowls here she has two cats 
they'll be getting an introduction in a second as well. We also have this little dining room area and a ladder that leads upstairs. And right now it is quite dark because I have auto lights on, but this is where her bedroom is. And there's also an extra bedroom for when, you know, she has her first child when she's an adult. So we may not even be living here then, but at least for now we have a spare room. So this is, of course, Hemlord on Bagley. You guys are familiar with this world, but I did actually replace some of the lots. I didn't replace all of them, but I did replace lots of the lots outside of Finchwick, but I completely replaced the lots in Finchwick with ones from the gallery. So we have a restaurant here. We have the Gnomes Arms Pub, which is actually a restaurant. So your Sims can also get, you know, beer and alcohol, bar drinks. <laughs> It's still like a, a bar, but it's also a restaurant. So your Sims can also go, you know, get food there, which is awesome. We also have a bakery and this bakery is, of course, Lilac's Bakery or her father's bakery, which is so lovely. I bet it's called like the Sugar Heart Bakery or something cute like that. So yeah, that's really cute that she lives just down the road from the bakery. And we also have a library as well. We had to add in a library since this generation is all about writing books. And of course, Lilac loves books. So I had to throw in a library for her. And then if you actually head outside of Finchwick, we have a pumpkin patch, Henford pumpkin patch. How cool is that? I actually made it autumn in the game currently, so we will be going to that probably in the next part. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> That's going to be really, really fun. And then just up the road from the pumpkin patch, we have the Sugar Heart Legacy or where her father, Steve, currently is living and where she grew up. This is the house that she grew up in. It brings back good memories, obviously, but also quite sad ones because, of course, Steve bought this house with his wife, who unfortunately did pass away. So it does bring a lot of good memories but also a lot of bad ones. If we kind of go up the street a little bit this is the last lot that I actually switched out and this is the Cottage Living Vet Clinic. I got a vet clinic and keep in mind all of these lots are based on Cottage Living and Hemford on Bagley. I literally spent so long looking for ones <laughs> that would fit that. Uh, but this is a vet clinic and it is also a place where you can do your laundry as I'm aware of. So I didn't actually throw in washing machines for her because I wanted her to be able to drive up to the vet clinic. <laughs> to get her to do her laundry. So yeah, that is kind of the whole Hemford on Bagley map. I did switch out some of the lots for lots from the gallery just to make it feel a little bit different. So you guys are kind of getting something new and I'm getting something new because I feel like we're all quite familiar with the lots in Hemford on Bagley for now. So it's fun to switch things up. Of course, as we kind of go through Lilac's life, we will be meeting her friends and her family. But uh, this is just a quick look at her relationships tab. We have her father, Steve, who we will be meeting in the next part and we have not her best friend but her only friend Annabelle Cooper who is actually a sim that I made and she only has one friend just one close friend but Lilac definitely does want to try and make some more friends she's really really hoping to kind of come out of her comfort zone and hopefully meet a couple more people so I think that'll be really really nice and that brings me on to the topic if you'd like to add in some friends or some lovers for Lilac you can upload them to the hashtag Plumby Sugar Heart Sims on the gallery make sure that your sims have some custom content content, preferably no custom content, since then it'll make me easier for them to add them, you know, in to the save. Let's actually get into her personality and then we'll hop into creatism and everything. So here are her traits. She is family oriented, loner, creative, romantic, and a bookworm. And then for her likes and her dislikes, her favorite music genres are singer songwriter music, romance music, and her favorite hobbies and skills are cooking, gardening, and writing. And her favorite colors are green and purple. I know that was a quick kind of look <laughs> over her traits. I know that didn't take too long. I don't want to just hover over it for too long, but now now let's actually hop into create a sim because I want to go ahead and show you guys some of Lilac's outfits and we can talk a little bit more about who she is inside of create a sim. So this is Lilac's every day wear one. So if you cannot already tell, her favourite colour is kind of like a lilac colour. I know it's very stereotypical since her name is literally lilac, but it's kind of like, you know, her favourite colour. And she also likes, you know, pastel purples and all of that fun stuff. So for her hair, she has very lovely, long, kind of wavy hair. And she actually dyed her hair white. This isn't her natural hair colour. Her natural hair colour is actually black, but she did dye 
dye it white and I think it looks really really pretty. So Lilac's favourite kind of pieces of clothing to wear are kind of cardigans and a jumper so she's kind of got this cropped long sleeved cardigan jumper thing <laughs> along with some really really nice jeans. She loves jeans, she loves cardigans, she loves jumpers. She does spend a lot of time indoors, she really likes being all comfortable, cosy, she's a loner so she prefers to you know be in her own company so she does like to be quite comfortable as well when it comes to her style. Here's another one of her outfits so as I said you'll see her in lots of jeans, lots of cardigans, lots of jumpers and in the colours mainly purple and of course mint green. As we can see here we've got some trousers and a lovely lovely comfy jumper and sometimes she also does tie up her hair into a very very nice bun. You can also see that Lilac has glasses. I'd imagine that she got these glasses when she was 15 and she does wear these quite a lot since she does need them and I don't know I feel like they add to her style and I think she kind of knows that too so you'll be definitely seeing her glasses reoccur with her outfits. Here is her formal wear. Now you'll rarely see her in dresses or skirts since they're not really her thing, especially skirts. But if the occasion does call for it, Lilac does throw on a dress. So since it's her formal wear, she has this really, really cutesy dress, you know, it isn't too extra. And once again, she has her hair down and some nice makeup on. This is her athletic wear. In my head, Lilac doesn't work out that often. Working out just isn't for her. But if she does ever get the urge to, she has this really, really nice hoodie here with some leggings and some comfortable shoes you know it's a very comfy chill look I feel like she could also just wear this when lounging around the house next we have her sleepwear here so I actually gave her four sleepwears and technically this should only say two but there's only one small minor difference that for her second one she has glasses on and for her first one uh, she doesn't and this is mainly because I take this game way too literally and in my head when she is asleep she does not wear glasses right because who sleeps in glasses but when she wakes up and gets out of bed, <laughs> she reaches for her glasses. I know, it's like, I, I think way too into it. It literally does not matter, but... I don't know, I just had to do that. So I also did that another one of her sleepwear looks here. We've got the no glasses look for when she's asleep and the glasses look for when she is awake and grabbing breakfast. Next we have her party wear. So she has this really, really nice green mint dress. As I said, if the occasion does call for it, she does throw on a dress. I think this outfit is so adorable. Lilac loves pastel colours. She loves dressing very, you know, bright. And I think it really does suit her. I think her style is very, very nice. And then this this is her swimwear. Once again, we've got the mint green colours coming in. This is such a cute swimwear. I love it so much. It's very basic, very laid back, but still very, very nice. For her hot weather wear, of course, since it is hot outside, she did throw her hair up into a bun and she also has these really, really cute shorts, this really, really cute top. This look just looks so comfortable and I do love it a lot. And then next we have her cold weather wear with my favourite. <laughs> One of my favourite custom content pieces which is actually converted from The Sims 3 Seasons as I'm aware of. I'm pretty sure someone converted it into The Sims 4 so yeah I love this a lot. It looks very very cute. I just love this look. Like isn't it the cutest thing you've ever seen? Oh my goodness. I just oh, I just adore this look. It is so adorable. So those are all of Lilac's outfits. I kind of hope you got more of an insight to who she is just from looking at her style. As I said she's a very cosy person. She kind of picks more comfortable practical clothes clothing and she also just loves being all you know comfortable and relaxed as I said. She also doesn't leave the house that often so she doesn't you know dress up as much which I think is completely fine and I think her style is really really lovely, really cutesy and really really casual and I do adore it a lot. Now as I promised I did say that we would take a look at her pets starting with the cats, well she only has cats but this is the first one, this is emerald sugar heart oh my goodness is she adorable she is the most affectionate cat you'll ever live like literally lilac loves her with all of her heart she's the most sweetest affectionate cuddly cat ever she's such a lazy cat as well she'll basically just lay for you and lay for you sorry lay with you for hours and cuddle you and she's just such a lovely little furry friend. And then next we have a Sapphire Sugarheart who currently has her back turned to me. Sapphire, please say hi. There we go. <laughs> this is Sapphire Sugarheart. Oh no, she turns, she's turning her back again. Please. Oh my goodness. She is not really a sassy cat, but... I may have been wrong because she, she's being really rude. But yeah, this is Sapphire. She is still quite affectionate. Um, she's quite lazy, but she's also, you know, she's quite a free spirit. You know, she goes where she wants to go. She does what she wants to do, but she is still 
a really, really sweet, sweet girl. We do love you a lot, Sapphire. You can probably tell by now that Lilac has quite a cozy, you know, relaxing, kind of wholesome life, which I really do just love. I don't know, I just, I love playing this kind of gameplay, just relaxing, wholesome gameplay. So this is kind of, you know, an introduction to her life. Of course, you guys haven't seen everything. I can't just explain it all in like, you know, one sitting. We will have to, you know, explore it through gameplay. I hope you still got, you know, your introduction to our founder. You know, she's a very cozy, just sweet sim, living a very wholesome life in Hempford, Bagley. And I'm really, really just excited to kind of play through this, to begin a new Let's Play, to go through all the generations that this I'm Lover Challenge does offer. There are 10 generations officially, and it's a very family kind of based challenge. I'm just really, really looking forward to it. Do let me know what you think of the I'm a Lover Challenge, and let me know what you think about this Let's Play. And this part was kind of mainly, you know, introductions where we kind of looked at you know her job her aspiration her traits and i kind of just you know introduced you guys to the founder and kind of choose what this challenge is going to be about and what you're kind of in for <laughs> inside of this let's play so if this does you know tickle your fancy if you do think this looks pretty interesting it's something that you'd like to watch it's going to be kind of wholesome i say kind of because some of the future generations are quite let's just say a bit drama full so it's still going to be you know a relaxing time and yeah if this, this, this is something you're interested in just you know wholesome fun at gameplay um do you stick around the next part is going to be much more gameplay filled as i said part ones just are never really that gameplay filled because they're more introductions just getting you introduced to what the lp is going to be about and you know who the sim is and the founders and everything but i am really really excited for the next part we can like start playing lilac's life you know because she's she's just recently out of university and everything like so she has her whole life ahead of her and it's just going to be really really fun so if you did enjoy this video and if you are new to the channel feel free to go ahead and subscribe to join the plum family we would love 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 to have you i know loads of people discover my channel through my <laughs> let's plays so if you are new here as i said come and join the community come and join the family we would love to have you and as i said if you did enjoy do not forget to leave a like and subscribe we'd love to have you join the plum family and i'll be seeing you all in the next video a quick thank you to all of the channel members thank you Kristen, cottage crossing the mint plum bob michelle monroe kate atsu meadows half dayq midaria nanny bay cat lover 2728 darcy morrison florida McKenna, Robin Ivy Louise, Gianna Hicks, M. Howe, Redalia, Sky Perry, and Callisto Eris. I really do appreciate it.